Hi guys, my name is Raul, I'm with Cypress Semiconductor, and uh, I wanted to talk to, you, talk to you a little bit about the PSAC analog coprocessor. We've talked before about this part, uh, however, in this case I wanted to really go and show you some demos of the capabilities of the part. The analog coprocessor is still a PSAC 4, it has an ARM Cortex M0 Plus core, uh, however, the really interesting thing is all the analog capabilities that the part has. As always, PSOC and Cypress uh, have standed out because of the analog front end and digital programmable that we have. In this case, the capabilities that we can achieve with PSOC analog coprocessor are uh, way beyond what we've, what we've seen before. In this particular case, we're going to show you, I'm going to show you how five different uh, sensors interact with the part. We have all kinds of sensors. Some of them have voltage output, current output. We have resistance output, capacitance, inductance. All of those go directly into the part and allow for, so for very cool uh, demos. This part really stands out for any application in which you want to uh, pr uh, play with a lot of analog signals. It can be sensors, it can be any other uh, analog signal around. Uh, you can just take it directly, do all your analog coprocessing uh, as part of the part, and either go directly into the digital world and, and use it as a main processor, or even connect it as a slave for any other big processors, saving in power, saving in complexity of your system, and uh, making it a very easy to use uh, part. So what we have here, this is, our, as always, this is a Pioneer board. It's Arduino compatible, so you can actually connect any other shields. We have an analog debugger programmer there with a piece of 5 lp This can be powered through USB or with an external source. Uh, and this is the analog coprocessor. Now, the really interesting part is on this side. As always, we have a couple of push, push buttons for uh, user reset. We have an RGB uh, LED. And this is where the five sensors are located, right? So the first one we have is a PIR motion sensor. This basically is the sensor that gave, gives us a voltage output. The voltage goes then to an, through an amplifier and then into the PSAC uh, analog coprocessor. The second sensor that we have is uh, the ambient light sensor. This sensor actually outputs a current, which we take through a trans impedance amplifier, and that's basically uh, what goes into the piece of analog coprocessor. The third one that we have is a thermistor. This, this is actually a resistance sensor, meaning that we, it varies on the resistance it has, and we actually take that signal and take it through a programmable voltage reference circuit before going into the processing of the piece of analog coprocessor. Other one that we have here is inductive proximity sensor. This one right here gives us an inductance change, but basically we go through a high pass band filter, a down mixer, and a rectifier before actually getting to the processing portion. And finally, we have a humidity sensor right here. The humidity gives us a change in capacitance, and we, we pass that through a, a charge transfer circuit. All right, these are the five sensors that we have. In this case, we have code examples for each of those individually. But uh, for this particular demo, we're going to use all of them at the same time, take those and uh, play with them. So uh, what we have here is a quick uh, user interface that we created for this particular demo. Uh, the home screen basically gives us an overview of the board, and uh, it points out where the sensors are. We have the PIR, we have the temperature sensor right here, the ambient light, humidity, and inductive proximity. And each of these is actually giving us the output of the, of the processing of the signal, right? So the first one is the PIR. The PIR is pointed out here. This is basically a movement sensor. So if, we, if I stay still for a little bit, it'll go back to not triggered. And if I just swipe my hand around it, you'll see it triggered on the, on the user interface. We also have the temperature sensor. Right now it's reading 25 uh, degrees Celsius. If I just put my hand on top of it, we'll see it increase. After that, we have you know, the light, the humidity, and the inductive proximity. And we'll go into those a little bit more into detail. First of all, let's go into the PIR. If I click on it, I'll just go directly into the tab up here. And basically, it's giving us a uh, high pass filter count and uh, the trigger threshold, right? So you can notice that once I add some movement to it, I breach the trigger threshold, and that's what basically triggers the signal. And then here we have a quick block diagram where it shows uh, in a high level what the analog uh, circuit is being integrated as part of the analog coprocessing capabilities. If I go back and go into the temperature one, we have something very similar. In this case, if I touch it, we'll see how it, uh, the temperature readings rise and then go down as I release it. Right? In this case, we also see high level block diagram of uh, what's happening inside the analog coprocessor. Going back, go to the light sensor, same thing. In this case, all I have to do is put my hand and start to go down all the way to dark and then back to lighting. 
if I tilt it a little bit towards the light, I'll see an uh, increase on the light readings. In this case, we see the block diagram as well. So next, we have the humidity. The humidity it gives me a percentage, and I'll try to increase the proximity by blowing at it. There you see an increase on the humidity. Finally, we have the inductive proximity. This is also a fairly common type of uh, sensing algorithm that's used normally for industry applications where capacitance is not what we're looking for, but inductance. So in this case, we need an inductive sensor that detects no mostly metal. We're going to use my wristband in this case. So if I place it there, we see immediately how it triggers the, the detection. So those different demos helped us understand how PSOC analog coprocessor actually is dealing with voltage, current, inductance, capacitance, uh, and different signals into the, the analog peripherals of the part. Uh, the kit, as you see, it's really helpful to, to understand and to play with different uh, analog signals. That's the CY8C048 kit, which is now available on cypress.com. Uh, make sure you go to our website, uh, download the information, watch some other videos, mm -hmm. and come back to us and share us what you think. If you have any cool demos to show, make sure you go to cypress.com projects.